Hi, Dan. I'll be using the mic stand. How are you? All righty. Have you guys read where bald men make better lovers? No? Because I've been writing it everywhere. All the men in my family are bald, and all the women are hunchback. And they don't know we're bald. <laughs> I don't mind not having hair. A lot of guys do. A lot of guys freak out, start stapling stuff to their heads. I hate these guys that go out and get these really crappy looking toupees. Looks like they pulled over on the side of the road and found a dead animal laying there. And honey, pull over. That's my hair color. Perfect. Two possum on the side of the road going, what's he doing to Herbie? My dad just got a toupee. Yeah, not a very nice one. It's made out of cat hair. Yeah. Every time you touch his head, his butt goes up in the air. Yeah, real easy to clean, though. He just takes it off and licks it for a little while. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, though, when you have friends over and your dad's in the corner coughing up fur balls. They usually don't say anything, though, because they're too busy trying to figure out why we have a cat with no hair. <laughs> those are jokes. I would like to say those are jokes. I am a strong supporter of animal rights. In fact, I hope that somewhere there's a bunch of animals wearing the pelts of fat, rich women. Looking at each other going, so what do you got on? Uh, it's a Caucasian housewife from Detroit. <laughs> that goes very well with your tail. <laughs> I uh, used to date an animal rights activist. Uh, she was kind of a hypocrite, though. You mean, I mean, of all the women you would think would want to do it doggy style, you know? I dated a lot of weird women when I was single. I remember one woman, I, I pick her up, first date, dinner and a movie, first thing out of her mouth, she says, well, we can sleep together, but we can't have sex. <laughs> okay. I said, all right, when we get to the restaurant, you can order dinner, but you can't eat it. <laughs> and when we get to the movie, I'd really like you to wait in the car. didn't date a lot. I'm married now, though. I, uh, I like being married. I do. Oh, not that the single scene wasn't kind to moi. <laughs> yeah, when I got married, I disappointed a lot of women. Now I can pretty much concentrate on disappointing just the one. Uh, it's not easy when you have the sexual appetites of Casanova, but you're trapped in the body of Fred Mertz. <laughs> Marriage is great, though, because when you get married, you get two families for the price of one. And no matter how screwed up you thought your own family was, <laughs> doesn't quite compare to the prizes she has in her clan. Easy. My wife really wants kids now, too. She'll see a couple with a baby and she'll get real teary, you know. She'll go, oh, it's a baby. <sighs> Don't you want to have a baby that looks just like you? I'm <laughs> like, all babies look like me. <laughs> I got to have kids, though, because my wife has got this maternal thing coming out of her right now and she really needs somebody to yell at besides me. The other day, she's screaming at me. She's going, hey! Is this where your dirty socks go? Apparently so. She's like, close that refrigerator door. Get out of there. We just ate. Close that refrigerator door. 
We're at the grocery store. She's like, put that back. Put that back. You don't need that. Put that back. I'm like, hey, I'm an adult. I jumped out of that cart and I said, look, man. Horrible following a woman around the store, isn't it? You're like Rain Man trailing behind her, you know? Like, yeah, of course we got Wapner in 25 minutes, yeah. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I've seen that movie way too many times. I'll be sitting in a restaurant with friends. I'll go, so what's the check? I'll go, about $100. Yeah. Yeah. I love Dustin Hoffman, though. I got to see uh, Death of a Salesman on Broadway, but wouldn't you know it, the night I go, Dustin Hoffman is sick, and his understudy was Don Knotts. <laughs> Just wasn't the same play, you know? They called it Death of the Shakiest Salesman in the West. <laughs> it's kind of neat, though, to see John Malkovich and Don Knotts on the sta same stage together. It's like, Pop, we are not leaders of men. We are a dime a dozen. <laughs> A man is not a piece of fruit. You can't eat the 